there aren't a lot of people out there that I'm happy are on the internet doing what they do. This gal is one of them. She's been trying to get through to all the fucking knuckleheads, but people are very, very dumb and the learning curve is steep. And that's the short version. Um, she did mention our government in here. So I wrote her and I said, technically it's not our, you know, in quotes or government in quotes, the latter of which, and I'm talking about government in case you're also very, very slow. Uh, the latter of which is closer aligned with a corporation rather the trilateral city states. And there's a lot more to that. And people don't have the first fucking clue about that shit. They don't. Even if you assume you do, there's a lot more to it. There's a lot more to it. Uh, there's a lot more to what I've rattled off online. I've been giving you guys a superficial package because most people won't fucking hear anybody out, let alone think about the information that's presented, you know, spoon fed to them. Either way. Um, and then I told her I'm glad she's still at it because I haven't seen her post anything for a while. Now, here's some fucking retards that chimed in. This one in particular. Keep in mind, this kid did it too. But this kid... <laughs> Shopping around a couple different things, but the one I picked on has to do with what most people assume is peace. So I said, how come you posted the symbol of victory? Oh, and I hashtagged it. I meant to do uh, quotes on both sides. My fault. I said, which means, which also means the end of man, which doesn't come up. Um, and it's pretty obvious if you consider the sigils, but people don't have a clue what's going on. By the by, social engineering stickers are in place to dumb people down, which goes without saying, and yet people still use them. Fucking retards. Then you got this kid saying, Capitalism relies on near poverty conditions for the people. Poorly worded. The, and he can't spell government. Keep in mind, TikTok does have a limited amount of characters you can put in here. But why lower yourself and act like a fucking retard? <laughs> That's a rhetorical question. Um, he says, the guft say, say they don't like inflation, but they do. They manufacture it. Everything about the system you and I are a part of right now is disharmonious and it's in place to manipulate us. It's in place to subjugate us. It's to keep us down. So an aspect of what he's babbling about is in fact true to a degree. I mean, there's a reason why the people in charge, um, have purposely done away with the middle class. And that's because they want us to tear all this shit down so they can swoop in when we're, you know, starving and or dead. The ones that live, mind you. And then present us with an ultimatum so that we buy into their new version of bullshit, which is worse than what came before. Ironically, as it were, one of the messages associated with that is, you know, essentially capitalism is dead. America is done. Blah, 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 blah. And people like this buy into it because they're very, very dumb. They're gullible. So if you're thinking about it, and again, this is a superficial version of a lot of shit that I shouldn't have to spoon feed people if they were actually, if they were thinking for themselves. And they aren't. Because what did I say earlier? The learning curve is steep. <laughs> and then some. This assumption isn't true. If we acted like adults, reconstituted the republic, and used the infrastructure, I'm talking about capitalism, mind you, because society is held together by this right now. Even though it's in place to fuck us up and all currency is debt-based, you know, the promissory notes, the greenbacks, the shit that doesn't have anything to back them up, which is why it's all debt. Which is why, you know, you and I are traded on the, the stock, uh, was it the stock exchange, blah, 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 or the stock market, and that's why our social security numbers do this, and our parents sign us over at birth, having to do with our birth certificates, and blah, 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 having to do with straw men. You know, all the shit that we were spoon-fed. Through acts of lesser magic. Most people don't have a clue what that is. But we were spoon-fed that shit through uh, controlled opposition assets like Jordan Maxwell, who is technically Russell Pine. Um, and I'm pretty sure he's dead now. But he's one of many who our masters paid to leave videos online to teach people this shit. And we still haven't done anything to change it. Think about that. And you don't hear people bringing that up. Um, either way, the point is to reconstitute the Republic, act like fucking adults, and use this infrastructure that's in place, not tear it down and destroy it and fuck everything up and make it worse for us, because that's exactly what that will do. But to have it come from a mom and pop standpoint, which is harmonious. And by degrees, have each community 
jive with one another, work with one another, because not all areas have all the resources that people tend to need. Very similar song and dance, but we don't have third party managers and face men and masters and all kinds of other wacky shit pulling our fucking strings. Again, I shouldn't have to spell this shit out, but people are fucking stupid. And then you got this guy saying this gal or this jazz about this gal. And I think she's pretty cute, but I really love what she's been up to. Um, and I don't know. I'm not going to show you the profile. Because you guys need to put in the time and bust your ass and do what you need to do. And most people aren't doing that. Most people are doing this shit. What the fuck do I know? Unfortunately, this is how most people conduct themselves. Usually I'll urge them to open their eyes instead of their mouth, but they're too dumb to use that gray matter between their ears, which means it's highly unlikely that's going to sink in. It's not going to resonate with them because they won't allow it to because they're stuck in an endless circle jerk of fucking stupidity. So here's Pete. Pete wrote me back and said, <laughs> You said nothing at all. Did ya wanna try again? Did ya? <laughs> so I wrote him back and I said, uh, What did I say? Your inability to analyze and interpret, or I can't say it, your inability to analyze and interpret is noted or something along those lines. Um, duly noted, something like that. Pardon me, I had a speech impediment as a kid. It's fucking funny doing all this uh, public speaking, but in a digital format these days. Most of the time it comes out, but when it doesn't, have a laugh on at my expense. Either way, um, Pete's a dumb fucking retard. <laughs> One of many, but what the fuck do I know? Unfortunately, what I say next applies to most people you'll bump into in this life. I'm not responsible for what you do not comprehend. And typically speaking, if people aren't familiar with something, they just assume what the other person related doesn't mean anything. Because it doesn't mean anything to them because they're too fucking stupid to grasp. <laughs> they can't pick up what was put down. Here's Pete, internet. So as it reads, I'm writing Pete back after he said, You literally didn't say anything, social engineering sticker. Then he said, <laughs> he threw out my quote, which I put in quotations, Mom and Pop Jazz which he could figure out. Mom and pop stores, it's an expression. It's a colloquial phrase that has been used often. And if Pete wasn't a fucking moron, he could figure this out. Keep in mind, this is also the same guy, if I'm not mistaken, who truncated the word government because there's a limited amount of characters. So if Pete could connect dots, he'd understand that I was also, you know, calling upon uh, the same tactics to squeeze enough characters into this limited amount of characters we have here on the China app on TikTok. But Pete's a moron. Yeah. So then he also said, I am a O. Whatever the fuck that means. Mom and pop jazz means more than that, but call me crazy. Correct me if I'm wrong. So I'm leaving this for Pete and I'm going to stop responding to Pete. If you hope to sound remotely intelligent, the last thing you would do is use our master's emojis written into the algorithm to dumb people down. Goodbye, Pete. And he probably won't understand what that means either. As always, what the fuck do I know? Well, imagine that here on the fascist China app. Something happened with one of the comments. There's a system notification. Let's see what they have to say. How are they censoring me today? I fucking hate this app. Oh, look at that. Did I say something mean in there? I'll read it again. If you hope to sound remotely intelligent, the last thing you would do is use our master's emojis, written into the algorithm to dumb people down. Goodbye, Pete. Damn. That sure was fucking offensive. I shouldn't have to jump through these hoops. Freedom of speech should exist regardless of the medium. And freedom of speech has nothing to do with what people call community guidelines. Community guidelines is part of the infrastructure in a digital format to pave the way for patently fascist censorship. But you don't hear people talking about that either, now do you? Oh yeah, and for the third time, what the fuck do I know?